take away the man's sense organ. You won't allow him to do that to you. He's very busy with it. You know, when I came in the night to pray, I, I've already had brain heat up in the home because I did writing on Saturday morning and I did teaching. So when I got home, I, I started having heat up. So, but I neglected it, did writing two times. I was writing until after seven in the evening. So, and I was resolute on coming back to write. So when I sat down, he said, no, don't do writing. They're going to preach a precious message and I want to bless you personally through it. So I said, what do you want? He said, don't write, go and knee. I was kneeling down there till I knelt down there for about six hours till part of this message I want to preach came in 80% it's not you that it blesses it's me Greatness will not be difficult if you know the way. It won't be difficult. You see, because it is a life. There is something one of my daughters told me is one of the greatest things I've ever had in my life. Each time this girl wants to send me a message, she will say, My life. She will say, my life. So one day she came to me in private discussion. I said, why do you always send me a message and call me your life? She told me something I find it difficult to forget. I will never forget it all eternity. She said, I know you, Shepard. You have taken time to preserve your life. Then she said, I didn't preserve my own. So I want to live from you. And uh, I knew that I have taken time to preserve my life. I understand it. That's why I can't take drug. I won't die. It's not possible. Excuse me, I won't die is not a word of faith. It's not faith. I have crossed. I know sense. There is sainthood before immortality. We don't have sense anymore. That does not mean that someone can be a saint. We, we see smaller pastors preach about money. You don't need to be in church to be rich. Money goes to principles. Money does not make people sense. Remember there is life after here. And money will not count in that life. So I... I want, to tell, I want to join the saints that testify to say God is very good. For that message I'm about to preach, number two, when we were sharing sweet with children in the last service, a local's wife was carrying a bag of sweet I brought to my, from my office. I took two from it, gave to another sister to share. I shared small. So when he said, the wife is in labor, I was about to pray because the labor have delayed. The Lord said, you shared sweet with that girl, don't pray. The baby will come out because you've already made contact with her. Yeah. 
she was telling me what was tied on the neck. I didn't bother. The water dried up. I didn't bother. I, I've already transferred life. Don't get things until you learn how to keep things. Don't go and look for something you can't keep. Let me say, I say, don't go and look for something you can't be able to keep. Keep it, having an ability to keep something is more important than looking for it. If you want to get married, receive grace to keep a woman before you marry. Study women first to know whether you want to live with a woman or not. Uh, me that is here, I don't want to live with a woman. That's why I didn't marry. I said, I don't want. No, I don't want to live with a woman in my house. It's not possible. If I share mentality with that being, I would die. I already know. If I keep on listening to a woman, I would die. And I, I, I know it. I saw my mother. I, I saw her live with my father. And I don't, I don't want that life. Don't forget, I've made 280 books, so I'm not learning intelligence. I said, I'm not. No, I'm not learning intelligence. I've grown beyond ignorance. My thought this morning is that. They brought to my attention the other day that they said a number of people chose six most popular preachers and they put my name. <laughs> they didn't consult me. I just saw it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but <laughs> you know the difference between men and spirits is no N K N O W the eight is a place where men group in ignorance spirit function through their brightness so it's not possible for somebody who is intelligent huh? to walk in darkness. Uh, let me tell you, I'm going to preach a message on Sunday on Jesus came to my village after that. <laughs> that, that Jesus came to my village after that. <laughs> And, and uh, I will never trifle with the path he followed to my village after that. In this service, I am preaching for him. Huh? He, I didn't meet him physically, but I'm serving somebody I didn't meet physically. I'm not a Jew. But he recruited me after that. So when they mention our name there, I, I smiled. It's not a number issue. It's about in front of the earth. <laughs> no. And uh, meanwhile, I'm not in a hurry. That's why for about 45 minutes, I will never say anything you don't need. Spirits are watching me and I care about it. I, I say spirits are and I know I care about it. I care about their opinion. The day they are looking at me, God is looking at me, elders in heaven are looking at me. I care about their opinion. So I brought this offering to say, number one, God is good for my message too. Mama is immortal. 
three for all the locust army that will not see death. Locust army, hear me. I'm not distracted. I will serve you forever. I will not serve any other group. That is why you don't invite me to church, to your church. I don't preach for any other group outside the immortal people. If you believe you will die, then I'm not your preacher. And I won't regret it. So those that give testimony, can you come? As long as I am I five prayer points after the message that is how important this message is can you ask God to bless you through the word through the word Father, thank you because your word will bless us beyond measure in Jesus' mighty name. You may be seated. Come, sir. Come. <laughs> Welcome. Come and shake me. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Are you clapping your hand? Is my friend from distance. Sometimes he comes close, sometimes he will. <laughs> you know, but we, we connect. We connect. Amen. Freedom from ancient family cordron. Freedom from ancient family cordron. If you like pot. Freedom from ancient family cordron. The word there, Codron, means pot. I want to start by telling you that in every man that is alive, there is good and evil. Let me say again. In every man that is alive, there is good and evil. That means in every life, there is a part that belongs to God and there is another part that belongs to Satan. Now, it is very, very important for somebody who is alive to be able to separate the two. The one that belongs to God represents blessings. The one that belongs to Satan is negative. And two of them have different sources. The one that represents darkness has origin in Satan. And Satan don't usually forget it. Now, the one that has light represents God, and God doesn't is usually forget it. Now, these two that have sus, both in God and Satan, fight inside every man. I would like you to listen. It is therefore very, very imperative. For anyone that is alive to be able to know the activities of these two inside him. I, 
and then because the two of them are like lions fighting living in a man the lion of death is in every man you know fake lion of death and then the lion of life is also in every man two of them fight now who wins is controlled by the one you give attention all who are in the grave give more attention to evil for their personal reasons don't forget that what I'm preaching is bizarre but it is prophetic now I say all who are dead give more attention give more attention to things that kill them for their personal reasons remember that the lion of death please I would like you to listen there is no human being that died from outside whatever that took a man to the grave was created by the man some voluntarily some knowing some involuntarily some knowingly some unknowingly but God does not exonerate us because we are ignorant can I go on with something can I go on with something now because existence and life is controlled by law So something is called the law of life and death. The law, the law of spirit of life in the book of Romans chapter 8. Life and death obey law. Huh? The, the, the power of life and death is not in the hand of God. It is in the hand of the law. It is in the hand of ordinance, it's in the hand of principles. If you look at Romans chapter 8, verse 2, it says, For the law of spirit of, of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. Can we look at that? He said, For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of, of sin. So there are two laws there the law of spirit of life in Christ Jesus. And then the law of sin. There are two laws. These laws are inside us. They are operations. Now I would like you to listen. When God made the first man, Adam, he, he connected Adam to life and death. He said, Adam, this tree, you eat from it and you live. And then you eat from this one and you die. And then he left. And then he committed the life of Adam. Now, please hear me. Some people are suffering because they don't even have awareness of this revelation. They don't have they don't even have awareness. Some, some don't know that they are men so they can choose. You can choose not to die. And then you keep the law of life. You can choose to be prosperous. Now, but listen. Because Adam is not the first man God made. Adam had parents. But why God called Adam the first man is because he, Adam came to what is called awareness. That's ability to know. Some people are living but they are still in the realm of animals. Now the realm of animals is, is, is an unconscious realm where people cannot actually take responsibility for life. So, so they are still in the realm of innocence where they say everything that happened to them is in the hand of God. That is a foolish word. You cannot commit your life into the hand of God. You have to take responsibility for your life. You see, because trying to hold God responsible for what happened to you is illiteracy. And of God, God will never take responsibility. I, I, listen, it is possible for somebody to destroy his life through choice and then come back and start crying. Did you hear what I said? I said, for yes and then come back yes as I cry and come back as I blaming God because I'm illiterate like I to tell you I said if I have a wife look at will not follow this road so, so how do you get married and still attain certain level of consecration you're not afraid
there are some things you can be after you are married. In God. You can't be that. You can't be raising children and still be that. You can't be hearing your wife in the night and still be that. The, the, the part of you you gave to your family, you've already lost it. And God can't take it. You, you've given it to your family. Now, it would be ridiculous for somebody to come back and say, I want to take it back. How? Listen, we are building that house there. It's these rooms. I will give that life, that building, I will give it to my feeding money. I'm already giving it. Up to food. I'm not talking about sending money to children in school. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about feeding personal. This is I'm wearing. I didn't, I didn't buy it. I don't buy clothes. It's one of the contingent what people gave me in January. And it has been with me since January. <laughs> eight months. I'm wearing it for the first time since eight months. <laughs> can, can you do it? Functions with the capacity of men. I don't know. I don't know what I, I said. God functions. Yes, it functions. There are things you will lack with certain capacities. It, it depends on it. All right. So I said, all of us who are born connect constantly, both to the negative and the positive. Now, when Satan wants to kill, he doesn't hurt with the positive. He, he clinches strongly with the negative that is made available to him in people's life. It's a network. Am I saying something? I say he clinches to the what? That is already made available to him where? Inside somebody. Now, if you know the Satan, Satan's gate in your life, if anytime you attack it vehemently, you move forward. And then if you know God's gate in your life, anytime you, provo you improve it, you move forward. Now, you clog your, if, you pro if you increase the value of Satan in your life, increase the Satan's value in your life, he clogs you. Now, some people ignorantly increase Satan's value in their life. They, they willingly increase the negatives. And then they expect moving forward. You cannot promote the negative and still move forward. There are people that are in relationships. Instead of increasing the positive of their relationship, they keep clogging that relationship. They keep doing something negative to that relationship so that the relationship will die. Listen, every woman that married a man and two of them eventually divorced. The, it, the platform of that marriage was established love. Huh? Was established on love in the first place. Now, if the relationship died, it was feeding the negative of that relationship that killed it. This happens every day. I say feeding. Now, all that are in the grave spend time to feed the negative. And then they keep going down. And they, please, when they keep feeding this negative, they will call it Satan. No, it was a promotion. It was a personal woman promotion. Satan doesn't take responsibility. I said, doesn't there is something, you know, uh, uh, at that midnight, I shared on clothed to rain. I was there shining it until, uh, until when I got to my I declared that it was quarter after after four. There we were not many there. Saturday morning, yesterday morning. 
I, I remember there is something I said that is very, very important when I was about to end that message. In fact, that was my impulse. That was my motivation to leave because I was writing on the reigning life of Jesus. I'm going to share it on Tuesday to one of the messages to God be glory next tomorrow afternoon. I, 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 I was just writing on it, the reigning life. And I came to page seven. The Lord said, go share your come back and finish. So my motivation to go and share is to talk about the mental base of every learning man. Now, the church doesn't teach mental base. The church doesn't teach thinking pattern. They teach prayer. God doesn't commit destiny to prayer. God commits destiny to way of thinking. Now, the way of thinking of people cannot completely be altered because that's what, what represents your destiny. Let me say again. I say the way of thinking of every man can't be altered because that is what represents a man's destiny. Now, you don't talk about the way of living without thinking about the way of thinking. You see, you have, you have thought. After thought, then thought appreciates in speak it. That is a word. And then speak it, appreciate in do something about what you said. That is action. And action appreciates in habit, keep doing it. And then habit say uh, appreciate in character. That is the way that man is. And then character connect direct to destiny. Now, this short story hasn't anything to do with prayer. Prayer is just a mere activity. And don't forget that prayer is seeking. That means you don't ask somebody something until there's a relationship. Some of us ask God something without relationship. He doesn't care about it. You don't ask a man to give you something only his wife will ask. Because you're not a man's wife. Now, it is not how many times you ask that brings the answer. No. It's not the pressure even. So, I believe in persistence. I believe in e effectiveness. I believe in fervency or prayer. But all these things I'm talking about does not matter if there is no place. I if you persist without place, the prayer becomes excessively noisy. Huh? And, it and it will hurt God. Now, this is principle. So, the relationship is not about prayer. It's, not, it's about who asks, who is asking. Don't forget that if you are worthy, he can give you without asking. It has happened to me many times to give people something they didn't ask me for. I'll just say, come, I have this thing for you. The person didn't ask me. So, so sometimes prayer is all this knife with you is not moving us forward. All the knife with you here, and no, it doesn't. Mentality will. So in that mess, in that message, I said Satan is the god of this world now. But why he is still the god of this world is he doesn't have the mentality. That can take the earth. That is why the earth is not moving forward. Because Satan doesn't have a thinking pattern. That can. And the church lamb of God. The lamb of God. Doesn't have the mentality that can take the earth. There are mentalities. The lamb of God. That is why the lamb should get another mentality. In a lion. I say the lamb has to get another mentality in a lion to take the earth. So it, it, to take the earth will not take doing more knife with you. It has to take changing the way you think. Now, a lot of challenges doesn't need prayer. It needs change of thinking. As of Apostle chapter 3 verse number 19, he said repent now and change the way you think because the hour of miracle has come. 
So in the time of miracle, God wants us to change the way we think. Now, changing the way you think is the way forward. It, it attracts God. Now, but you cannot change the way you think until you know how you think. But I was there and then when, when I told them, I said they should look far. They were looking far. We saw where heaven and the earth look like they met in the distance. I told them, I said, I know, I know this looking at nine. Nine years. When I'm looking to see where the earth will meet the where heaven will meet the earth, if I stretch my eyes to look at it, I'll be looking at it until my mother stand up noticing that I'm looking at it. She will come to where I'm sitting down and take her hand and put on my ear and put put my eye down. I say, those who look the way you look get astray, and you cannot get astray before me. Now. she said bring your eyes bring your eyes down I don't know what you're looking for in the heavens you can't get astray before me now listen when I became a preacher one day I came home I have become popular already and I sat that place I used to sit when I was small I went to the same place and sat that same place and sat looking at that thing I used to look she came back she came to me because she can no longer put her eyes or hand on my ear So she said, Oh, you, you didn't stop this thing. <laughs> she said, Oh, you didn't stop this thing. So you're still looking, looking to yourself. Please let me help you one second. There is something that witchcraft damage in Africans. And that is their imagination. If you look at in Revelation 1, 2, 3, 4 to 1, 6, the Bible says the, the Babylonians agreed with unrestrained imagination that they will build a city and the tower to meet God in heaven. Huh? And the Bible says there that they, they burnt their bricks thoroughly. And when God saw, please, I would like you to listen. These people told God that God should remove his hand from their building. That God should. They told God, I said, listen, don't, don't come near our building. We're not asking you to help us. Don't come. He said, don't worry about helping us. Don't come near us. We will meet you in your parlor. We're just coming. The Bible said, and God saw that even though he didn't help them, they were ready to come. Prayer has offended the church. Prayer is an act that makes a man commit unto his spirit something he should do that represents his only value. What, a, what represents a man's value the only thing that represents a man's value that makes him man M -A -N, is something that he commits to his spirit when that happens he loses his value as a man and they don't forget that God cannot rule on earth without man so when men commit what they should do to his spirit they lose their human value and they, that is called death and because God cannot come here he will start looking at looking for another man still on this earth because the other fool is already dead now when a man refuses to take his responsibility on earth as a man spirits see him as somebody who is dead let me say it again i say when a man ignore his responsibility on earth as a man spirits see that man as dead now even when spirits see that man as dead they don't still take the responsibility they still get busy to look for another man because that job cannot be done so the first humiliation Satan brings into the life of people is to make them to ignore 
the essence of their humanity. Huh? The essence of their humanity. And then number two, ignore what they have achieved as a human. Now, treating me as if I am not shepherd and want me to accept it is foolishness because I, 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 maybe you want me to believe it's humility. Did you hear what I said? Huh? Huh? I, I, allowing people to treat you the way you should not be treated because you want to be humble is foolishness. <laughs> not taking opportunity of what you have achieved to go on is still foolishness we should be able to separate integrity from humility even spirits believe in it so whatever is the channel of glory in your life sustain the channel and then god will increase you more and more in the name of jesus let, let me let me if you say praise god i will give you a gift the principal thing witchcraft attack from attack in men is their human value something that god admires something yes now if you're looking at me there is something god admires in you that bear the crown the crown of your glory it's not everything and the, please hear me all men are not the same in the sight of god so every man that wear a crown is is wearing a crown of his value the crown of his achievement in 49 of the book of genesis when jacob was blessing his children he came to judah in 8 9 and 10. he said judah you are different from reuben and simeon and zebulon and joseph judah you are a lion and i commit unto your legs the dominion of all israel for your royalty he said judah i your hand will always be on the neck of your enemy because of your content because of your value say judah your hand will always be in the neck of your enemy now so there was an ability of judah an ability he said your brother will praise you until the messiah comes now what witchcraft do to men on earth is to destroy that value judah has so that judah can be ordinary now when men destroy their their value content they relapse into frustrating religion if i can see myself i can see you so if a number of people said that you are one of our best I, I know why they chose me <laughs> there are other people they might choose that might not be around in 10 years because they don't know what kill men. Somebody can still be successful and die. In case you don't know, Satan can inspire success for a temporary time. I say Satan can inspire. Yes. So the way I am, I, I, I know I know his trade and I don't take things from him. I'm making a book on soul selling. So, you know, he trades on soul. The most expensive thing on earth is the soul of men. I said, the most expensive thing on earth 
the soul of men. And then you know the guy trades on it. He buys souls. But, but the, most, the most important thing on it, souls of men, and uh, it is very, very expensive. So sometimes he, he buys it with money. Because when he buys souls of men, he can give them money. Huh? He will take his money back when he takes their soul. <laughs> hey, I know you're a small boy. You, you better hear me. You. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> More than 90% of the politicians in Nigeria are already, they are working cops. Also, more than 90% of the pastors, the big ones you see, are also working cops. Did you hear what I said? That is why they, they live from drugs. A man that carried drug up and that is already a dead man. Because drug cannot keep you alive. Ah, the way that lead to hospital is a way of death. So if you go to hospital regularly, then you're planning to die. Because the person you're looking for can, doesn't have power to help you. <laughs> ah? And uh, nothing is called cure. There is, nothing, not, there is no cure in the hospital. Hospital is a place of exchange. Where a doctor tried to take away sickness so they can put another one, nothing else. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that can, you can keep coming. <laughs> yeah, it's the place of exchange. That road is closed. I said that road is closed. I didn't hear a big amen. Yeah. Now, he, 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 I'm talking about Codron. Every family has a pot of destiny. God doesn't forge a family without a pot. Let me say it again. God doesn't forge a family without now and every family the destiny of every family member is in that pot now that particular pot is called a cordron it's also an altar now every member of a particular family live from certain altar in the generation now when you come to a town a town like I came from Umuchu. There are places or cauldrons of pot in every town, like the market. The central market. Like the water. The water of that land. Like the Uchu waters. Like the name. The name Umuchu is a cauldron. The Nkwa is a cauldron. Now, this cauldron that is a pot represents the size of indigenous of that town. The size of indigenous. Now, the goddess of Uchu has a soul. The goddess. Because Uchu is a woman. She has, she has a soul. And then that soul has inscription. It has inscription that represents the destiny of the Uchu which control the Umuchu people. Now, the inscription controls the character of the Umuchu people. The destiny, the way of thinking, the way of reasoning. Now, he was telling me, the next time after Umuchu is a, is a mercy, governed by the Akalabo, that is an idol, called Akalabo. Huh? He, 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 the, I learned from him that the, the, the Uchu was an enemy of the Akalabo. 
that this is Umuchu, this is Ames. And they were fighting. So up till now, in my place, the Ames people and the Umuchu people don't marry. Because the two gods, the male god of Akalaba and Duchu, they fought. And the battle they fought is affecting the indigents up till now. So if you're from my town and marry an Amesi girl, Akalaba will make sure that the girl goes. Huh? She must go back. It, it, it doesn't matter how spiritual you are, you're talking in tongue. If you try to go to Amesi and marry a girl from there, you are, where you're from, Umuchu, you will have problem with the girl continuously until she goes. Uh, <laughs> I'm teaching a card. You've not had it before. Open your ear. That means things that are established are more important than things that are just existing. One day I was praying and uh, 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 the, the goddess of Akokwa, Akokwa is the next time from Umuchu, the spirit of Akokwa came to me and said that this thing I'm asking, that I should, that he's standing, he's standing before God, to tell God that if this thing, if this thing I'm, I'm asking, that I'm asking this as an Umuchu man, that him that is an Akok, that is the God of Akokwa people, will never allow it to happen. Then I said, then I will kill you. I will not kill you here, I will kill you from heaven. I tell that goddess, this, uh, this happened in 2014. That is like about eight years. I told that goddess, not a god, a god. He's a fallen god. He's a man. He said, you are asking for the expansion of this ministry in Umuchu land. You won't get it. As long as you are an Umuchu man. I said, I'm not an Umuchu man. I'm coming after you. I look at that god. I said, today is the last day. I will meet with you. I remember that I was on my knee and to excuse me to teach God's lesson. I, I'm, I'm not learning it. I said to teach. No, I'm not learning. As long as I don't have a wife, I can deal with any God. When I say wife or children, I mean vulnerables. There are battles when you go after it, your wife will feel something. <laughs> your children will feel something where they are because they are vulnerable. So there are battles that when you keep vulnerable people, you don't even think of fighting it. You see, because you cannot you can't fought spirits in glory when you have much vulnerable people these are so that battle goes on in the realm of immortality that is where, where we are not human beings i would deny my home i would deny my existence as a man and take on take the nature of a spirit now why i i i mentioned the aqua demon and their caliber of amaze is that you will know that your life is somewhere. Find out the place. You came with opportunity and limitation. Find out what they are. Let me say it again. I said, find out when this artist ends. If you have not found your story, look for an elderly person in your family and find that story before another Sunday. Find details. Details of your own family. Details of details of town. And then your position in the family, why family members are behaving the way they behave, their opportunities and setbacks. Find out what the ancients of your family agreed against their generation. Don't say you are in Christ, you are a new creature. Don't even think. That would be deception. Because even believers are, are dying by the same art even pastors some pastors are 419 
and they cannot stop you see because they came from fake backgrounds and carrying bible i cannot change anything Karen Bible cannot utter that nature. Hunger to smoke. Bible. Bible doesn't destroy it. A mental limitation. Now, I would like you to listen. When Lucas Sammy started, the Lord asked me that if I really want to go far, that I should take the church to my soil. That is why this year I have spent Three, three, I've gone there three times. Only this year. I've gone. Now I've gone three times. Those of us who know who went to Galilee with me, you will see we start praying. We start praying. I will take it to that junction. Because I know quadrants. When I went in April, I went to the, the, the around 4 30. The market. 4 30 in the morning. I went to the school where I attended secondary school. I went there to pray. <laughs> this one is there. That's one who drove me there. Four thirty in the morning. After praying in that market square, I went to this school to go and ask spirit that I there to live my life alone. You see, because my footprint is still in that school, so I went there to go and erase it. Ezekiel chapter 11 the book of Ezekiel chapter 11 please if you look up I will give you this gift there is no great man on earth that really make lasting impact I'm not talking about great today dead tomorrow great today down tomorrow there is no man that made tangible impact that didn't contact his negativity continuously and then didn't contact his positivity continuously. There's always something to fight. And the revelation helps you to know what to fight. And then there's always something to promote. Revelation also helps you to know what to promote. Knowing what to fight and what to promote is a blessing of this service. Because if you spend longer time on promotion, and then spend longer time again on, on fighting enemy, real enemies. You will go far. Let it be a gift to you in this service that you will, you will pay attention to your negatives. And then you will promote your positives. And that, that is an to you from the carelessness of fighting enemies that are not there for you. Because you don't have time. You don't have time to waste on fighting enemies that are not there. In Ezekiel chapter 11. Ezekiel chapter 11. From verse 11, verse 1. And moreover, the Spirit of the Lord brought me unto the east gate of the Lord's house, and which looked towards east, and behold, at the door of the gate five. And twenty men among whom I saw were Jazaniah, the son of Azor, and Palatiah, the son of Benaiah, prince, prince of, of the people. people. Go ahead. Then said he unto me, son of man, he said, are These the are men that divide mischief and give wicked counsel in this city. Which say it is not near, let us build houses. This city is a cauldron, and we be the flesh. He, 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 he said that this city, that is about a city. He said, This city is a cooking pot, and uh, we are Nama. A flesh means something eatable. Continuously listen. Nigerian election is coming. Ignorant people are contesting. Intelligent people know what to do. Flesh eating is part of glory. He said, this is, these are pots. Is there anywhere you see somebody die? Excuse me. People feed on themselves. The Bible said, this man said, all the people in Jerusalem are, are our Nama. They are in our port. They are in our port. Some of us who are hearing me, do you know on earth people contribute to others? It doesn't stop. 
Because debts cannot end. People contribute to other people. Nothing is called dying. It, it, what is possible is taking lives. There is no man that died that his life was not taken. And hear me. It, 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 let's, why you should look for honor is that great people don't easily lose their life. When Boko Haram was going on and going on in Nigeria, you see bandits, they don't kidnap big men. In fact, as a matter of fact, big men use them to succeed. Bandits, terrorism, and whatever you like, call it kidnapping, are sponsored by big men. So the big men don't die. It is ordinary people that they kidnap. That is why you will never be ordinary. I didn't hear a big amen. I said you will never be, you will never be ordinary. Uh, because greatness provides security. Let me say it again. I say greatness provides security. Greatness provides both spiritual and physical mental security. There are men that can't die because if anything happened to them, there will be disorderliness because of their value. There will be, there will be disorderliness. Listen, when John the Baptist died because Jesus was ahead of him, Jesus covered him. Jesus did what? Covered him and there was peace because Jesus was around. But when Jesus died, the Jews couldn't be a nation. The, it, it, violence came on, they were all scattered. So there are people you can kill until you make a special arrangement for their substitution. Because their kind can be taken. If they are traveling and kidnappers meet them on the way, when they wind their glass, they will ask them to give them money. They will just give them 5,000 and wind up their glass and go to where they are going because they can't be kidnapped. If they are powerful spiritual people, the angel that is with them will go to kidnap us and get, go them asleep. <laughs> I say powerful angels will go and get. Somebody say power. power. Now, God said to Jeremiah, he said, Palatiah and Jezaniah are people who kill others. I want you to kill them. <laughs> I want you. I would like you to kill them. Why you must kill them is because they have been busy killing other people. They besieged Jerusalem, so they have to die. And you know the story. Later in the verse, Jeremiah said, I prophesied their death as I was commanded. And Palatai and Jezaniah died. Let's read it. Can you read from four? Therefore, prophesy against them. Again, prophesy, O oh, Son of Man. He said, And the Spirit of the Lord fell upon me and said unto me, Speak this, thus says the Lord. Thus have you said, O house of Israel, for I know the things that come into your mind, every one of them. You have multiplied in your slain. In the city, you have filled the street, therefore, with slain. Therefore, said the Lord, God. You are slain whom you have laid in the midst of it, the other flesh. And this city is a quadrant, but I will bring you forth out of the midst of it. You have feared the, the sword, and I will bring a sword upon you, see the God. And I will bring upon out of thee and deliver you into the hand of strangers that will secure judgment among you. You shall fall by the sword. I will judge you in the border of Israel, and you shall know that I am the Lord. He said, This city shall not be your cauldron, neither shall you be the flesh in the midst of and I will judge you in the border of Israel, and you shall know that I am the Lord, for you have not walked in my status, neither executed my judgment. 
that have done after the manner of the hidden that are round about you. Number 13. And it came to pass when I prophesied that Bethlehem and the son of Benia died. Then I then fell I down upon my face and cried with a loud voice and said, O Lord God, we now make a full end of the remnant of Israel. There was a clash of two kinds of people. Ezekiel was a prophet. And God said to Ezekiel, I, you highly anointed servant, you cannot be around when, when Jezaniah and Pelatiah are their prophesying. I would like you to confront them and speak my word. I'm going to come to it later when I continue this message to stop. He said, what would I do? He said, speak. That is fought for tell, for tell. Speak against them. That is prophesy. He said, when I prophesied, Benaiah, Benaiah died. Killing people is part of freedom. Telling people to die is part of freedom. As you're hearing me, your village cannot go on until certain people die. And if, if they don't die, those who are meant to rise will not rise. If those who are meant to die didn't die, those who are meant to rise will not rise. When Moses got to the land of Egypt, got to where? The land of Egypt. God told Moses, I have made you a God. Go and confront Pharaoh. When Moses confronted Pharaoh, certain evil people who are keepers of the throne of Pharaoh came out, the magicians. Now, Israel couldn't come out. I said, Israel. Israel couldn't come out until those people that subjected them to bondage until they became powerless. Your enemies will be powerless. Yeah. When Lucas time started in my village, the Lord told me, he said, he said, there are people in this village that cannot be alive if this camp must succeed. I, I said why he said they are agents of satan capital agent of satan that satan used in keeping this place down and they are looking at you and he started calling them to me some of them have died already some have not but i know their name i know them i know where they live and i know the source of the water and the market and the trees that give them power so i don't only attack them i also attack the source of their power I say I don't attack, attack. I don't attack them only. I attack. I attack the principalities. I attack the powers, their supply, their place of energy. So when a wind comes from God and blow, sometimes I don't worry about their vessels. That means vessels are human beings. I don't worry about their vessels. I worry about the source of their being. I will go like when I started fighting the Omega people. I mean. When, when I preach the gospel, the Omoe people around the local army, they don't want to listen to immortality. And those who, who because of the issue, and the well inquiry. So when we, when we build this altar there, they, they will be passing through a pathway to well to go and make sacrifice. I told the Omoe people, I said, talking, talking to you will not matter. It's when I will send the way, then you will not have a God. So I left them and dismiss their God. Right now, they are without God. So they will come to look at something. I'm not begging them. You see? <laughs> so fighting them one by one is wasting time. You fight the altar, the cauldron, where their life is tied. Then they will start looking for another God. We were here and I was trying to do luncheon. They told me, they came to me, they came to me two times. I said, if rain beat people in Lagos, that I will fear. I said, if rain drop here, you, you won't exist. So, so do you know? We are we're all here now. I said it here two times. And we are all here when it was 12 o'clock, they gathered. That means that that means that nature can be used by gods and God. If you are here, we like you to start using, learn how to use nature. 
You cannot be in Lagos and you're suffering. You should learn how to command the land. You should learn how to command the land. You should learn how to command money. You should learn. Uh, 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 tomorrow I'm going to be teaching on understanding, understanding how to pray to God and hear your voice. So there are prayers you don't mutter. I say you don't do what? You don't mutter it. You, don't, you speak it. You say it to your to spirits and then you hear your voice. Uh, that is why there are some prayers you don't pray inside the house. You say it to the wind. So that the wind will feel it. God said to Gideon. He said Gideon. He said I am going to use you as a judge in Israel. But you have to go back to destroy the altar of Bapua. He said Bapua will not be around. And you want to be a judge. You are going to go back to your village. And then go to the market square. And burn down the altar of, of Asherah. And in the midnight, Joseph filled kerosene in a keg and ran to the market when everybody was sleeping and set the idol on fire. That is... <laughs> when they woke up in the morning, those who are sleeping, we always woke up in the morning. Those who like sleeping, they always woke up in the morning. So they woke up in the morning. <laughs> and discovered that Asherah is... Up to now, they call him Jeroboam. Why? They were, the father, the, 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 no bodo. they said to the father of Gideon, he said, you must bring out, you must bring out Gideon. Gideon said, look at Lele. He said, what is your anger? He said, he burnt our idol. Gideon said, you don't want fighting for the idol. Tell your idol to go and kill him. If you ask power. are you the one defending something that is consumed the boy is around your idol should do what should fight him and did you hear that Gideon died the one that gave Gideon command listen there is a, co there is a covenant that co there is a power that covenant eye to power so because power is a projection of eyes so there are some things that when God revealed it to you, he makes you powerful by knowing it. He doesn't deny you the power of that which you know. Now, if you're hearing me, let me come to the, the B part of the message and stop. If you're hearing me in this deliverance ahead washing service, I would like you to hear me tell you, God wants you to be free. I am already pointing to an enemy. So I am unveiling their evil. Whatever that we want to reduce your years. Take what you have. Must be discovered. You must learn to find out the dwelling place of your enemy. And then use everything you have to go there. And you must, you must find out the dwelling place of your allies. People that God used to support your life. And then encourage them. So if there are enemies in the village some outlets are symbols of darkness for instance the Nkwo, the Orie, the Afo the Eke are one of the Ihijoku symbols that have kept an Igbo man down so you don't you don't you don't take it lightly when you come to your, the market square of your village a lot of things goes on, goes on, goes wrong there you don't take it lightly now, if you're an African man, you don't take it lightly when you come to the OB where your family is tied to. Because that OB has a spirit that controls everybody in the Omona. You, you, you don't trifle with the water body that everybody drink in your village. These are and other stories so the Bible says in 9, 1 and 2 of the book of Isaiah, it says a people that willingly walk in darkness through the power of their ignorance have been prepared for death. Through the what? Through the power of has been 
prepared for death. But God said, I am going to deliver them so light shined. So what I'm doing now is to shine light. To say, open your eyes and know why everybody is suffering. Before you help your sisters and your brothers, find out where your life is tied. The major contributors of your delay. Make it personal. The what? Don't forget that a particular pot can belong to a family or a town. But you have your portion in that pot. Find your portion. And tell those people to leave your life alone. That whatever that was agreed there to limit you, that the blood of Jesus is already against it. That you're pulling yourself out. You're pulling. You're pulling yourself out. And I came to help you in a head wash to say, come out. Come out. Don't allow what is binding everybody to bind you. Don't allow them to reduce your years. Don't allow them to delay your life. Don't allow them to be sickness in your body. Don't allow them to tie your future. Don't allow any woman to delay you from having babies. Any man. Don't allow them to give you food when you are sleeping. Don't allow them to call you ancient family names. There are people in my village. They don't want to know I'm shepherd now. They want to call me village name. I don't take it easy with them. Anytime they remember, anytime they see me, they start telling me stories of how they know my grandmother and my mother. They are my enemies. Excuse me. You don't finish with evil through wish washing. You fight the evil. You, you don't commit it to God's hand. You fight it. I say you do what? I say you. In the, in the second version of this, I'm talking about Kodro. Now, every one of us that are here are, are under the influence of names of men in the family pot. To seven generations. Every one of us. One day I got to village, I, I was trying to ask my mom, my mother. If she should tell me the story or I don't know about my grandfather that is my father's father she first of all called the name of the man and started telling me about trades transactions who the man is and, and how and I begin to recollect my life to that story and why some things are happening some of those things are not all of them are evil because it is still what God ordained like when I was born they say umuchu Umuchu is a lancer. That's what they call my place. So if you go to Anicha and you want to go to Umuchu, even if you didn't say I'm going to Umuchu, if you say you're going to a lancer, they will know that the only people that ask a lancer is Umuchu people. That is Holy Land. And that, that name, Holy Land, is one of the reasons why the camp is still came there. They do clap on what I just said. So the ancients are not completely wrong. I said the ancients are not no they are not completely wrong because those of us who have visited there we have visited because of still what they kept so it's not everything they kept that is wrong clap your hand for what I just said what we are talking about we should deal with the negative that stop them where they stop and then upgrade the positive so that we can move them forward can, can you put your hand together for what I just, just, what I just said so what we say let us deal with it you don't destroy everything in the family but the family still has the positives because the positive it is still you it is still the positive that produces you but you didn't fall from heaven you are still from there even your ability to sit down here and to hear this deep message is still because of, because you came from there so if you look at the, the story in 48 verse 16 i'm running so i can stop jacob said to joseph he said let my father's name and my, the name of my, my grandfather, the name and my name, to <gasps> Sotoria Raya Kapata, in the head wash. I want you to see a scripture on how a boy had three names speaking on his head. For the eighth verse number, 
verse 16 of Genesis. How one person had three names doing what? Speaking. Why would I be a weak man? If my name can influence people, then I should do whatever I must do to make people blessed by my name. I should do whatever I must do. I should do I, even beyond comfort. If my influence, excuse me, I told you that they said we are cis a number of preachers that have great influence. That is, that, is, that is too much. That means I am already influencing. Now if I am already influencing people, then I should be very careful. Did, did you hear what I said? And then I should be what? I should be very careful. Since my influence is already, is already counted. I don't influence only men, I influence spirits. For 8.16 of the book of Genesis. Let's look at it. I, I, then I will go to part B and start stopping. Can, I, can you look at 16? The spirit, the angel which redeemed me from yes. all evil, yes. bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. And let my name be named on him. That is number one. He said, let the angel bless the Lord. And then he said, and let my name be do what? That is the first name in. That is the first name. Go ahead. And let the name of my fathers. Abraham, Isaac, that is number two. Isaac. Isaac. Number three. And let them grow into. In the midst. Now it is that name that is responsible for the growth. The names. Some people the names on them cannot bring multiplication. The names on them is why they are suffering. The names on them is why they died young. The names on them. The names on them is why everybody is going through the same kind of sickness. The same kind of life mishaps. The names. The names on them. But this particular name, because they are blessed name, the name brought multiplication. Today, we are going to question names. You will question them that is on your head. Dealing with Kodro. Dealing with dealing with Kodro. Dealing with family Kodro. That is my last. How to deal with it? We, let's go to see how you deal with it in Ezekiel 11. Excuse me. Can you can you say shepherd praise God say I thank God for you I, I will soon stop preaching and when I stop preaching I will believe that 80% of this service is done I'm going to do head wash I'm not taking long time in it you already know because of what I'm about to show you a lot of people have attacked the devil through prayer attacking the devil through prayer is not the major way it's not the major way At don't attack the devil majorly through prayer. Attack the devil majorly through the word. When I open scripture, you will see what I'm saying. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 11. Ezekiel chapter 11. Can you go ahead and read that particular scripture? It's quite very beautiful. Verse number 7. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, your slain who have hid in the midst of it, they, they are flesh. And this city is the cordial. And I will bring forth you forth out of the midst of it. Number eight. You have feared the sword, and I will bring a sword upon you, said the Lord God. Now, the way to fight an enemy is not through shouting fire only. Fire can contribute. But the sword is higher than the fire. The sword of God's word. God, God didn't say to Ezekiel, he, he, he said, pray against Jezaniah and, Pilate, and, and Benai. No. He said to them, prophesy. That is, bring sword upon them. Now, when you bring sword of God upon an enemy, it, it is no longer you fighting. It is, the, it, is the, it is the word fighting. If the word of God 
kill an enemy it is not you that kill the enemy God didn't say to Ezekiel kill the enemy he said bring the sword upon upon the enemy how many times have you brought sword upon the enemy have you been able to bring sword upon any enemy and in the next verse Ezekiel said I brought the sword number number 8 and they fear the sword and I will bring sword upon you said the Lord number 10 he said and they shall fall by by the sword thank you so if somebody wants to be free from Kodra it is by the sword what is the sword the sword is the word of every spirit what I said the sword is please for pastor's sake so, uh, for some of us who have been going to churches hear me in case you don't know a lot of men of God are dead and some are sick don't confront an enemy as a man don't confront the devil don't confront the devil don't confront the devil if you are a pastor don't confront the devil you cannot be able to win the devil don't confront the, the devil is a god don't confront the devil release sword against the devil don't say devil I command you no he will hurt you God said to Ezekiel he said let my sword fall on them since 17 of the book of visions and the and the and the fourth wave of hebrews visions visions 6 17 ah we oh oh god is a booby have your way I'm seeing the Lord said, Did I not say to you, my own, that I will lift you? But why I hear the Lord say, I will lift you, I saw a rope. I saw a rope tying this particular man. A rope is tying you, a rope from God is tying you all over the place. Join your hand and it's tying you. And I'm asking God, why are you tying the man that you want to bless? He said, I will not bless him until I have tied him. He said, tell him that he should obey me. He, shall, he, shall, he should be my bond servant. When he become my bond servant, then I will open the gate of nations unto him. So I said to God, let this particular man become your bond servant. Let him hear your voice and obey you. And then you will use him as a symbol to rule the world. Let Sotobirie no Odorogo Sarana. He said he will not need to pray. He will need to obey me continuously. And then I will use my bond servant to rule the earth. Say the Lord Almighty. I hear the Lord say to a woman. He, he said I will cause. I, I, I will cause her. I will curse her. So I say, who is she? He said, there is a particular young girl in this place, a lady. You've not been able to conceive and I am looking at you in the room. Each time you are about to conceive, a particular guardian angel of a particular old woman 
will put his two hands in between your legs and the child that God gave you will keep going out because she will not allow your legs to be together I command that guardian angel wherever that angel is functioning from from any satanic altar that keep on putting her hands in between your legs so that the baby that came inside you will not stay let be the life of that old woman and the angel that serve her atrocities be cursed before the Lord uh, let the get let the get an angel that ask me not to have a wife go after that particular spirit that make the prophecy of this altar void let the anger of God multiply I open up the heavens. I open up the earth. I command the release of heavenly force over the multiplication of iniquity. And I command the strength of occultism to be broken. To be broken by fire in the name of Jesus. Let the anger of God lose every prisoner. Lose every captive. If you're hearing me and you're under any port, I command that port to be scattered immediately. Scatter all your ports. Scatter. Scatter and free that woman. Scatter and free that man. Scatter and free that girl. Let the port binding Lagos to Satan be broken. Let the port binding Satan to your family be scattered. I mean the ancient quadrants. Let the rain of miracle begin to fall. Let there be attractions upon attractions. Somebody I can't hear you say a big amen. Let the impossible start happening. Whatever they say is the destiny of premature of early death, the destiny of bondage, the destiny of barrenness, the destiny of poverty. Inscribe upon that pot as thunder and fire. Come out of the altar. Let that evil destiny be scattered. I say be scattered. I say be scattered. Somebody can you say amen and hear yourself? Can you lift your hand one minute? I'm going to continue in a short while. Say with me Lord Jesus. Every power in any port. Subduing my destiny. I lose my head. My name is Chris Christian. By the blood of Jesus, I lose my life from every suppressor. Can I hear your prayer? Say to the suppressor, you can't be suppressed. Oh, you suppressor. Oh, you family suppressor. Oh, you family suppressor. Oh, you family suppressor. Oh, you messenger of you messenger of evil destiny. You messenger of evil destiny. You which a wizard, the, the handwriting of hell. Listen, listen. I see them. I see them in a lady like a falling star. The spirit behind premature death. Oh, Brian, behind confusion. The spirit behind nose bleeding to shorten people's life, irregular menstruation, so that the air can keep on going until a woman is barren. The power that says, sign the agreement, you will take your life. You're not signing any agreement. You are not signing any agreement. Your days cannot be shortened. I didn't hear you shout a big game. Lord, I crush the pot immediately. Can I hear you go ahead and cross the pot of Satan?
took responsibility for his brothers he said you go to the marketplace because I, I have to do something new in the family and for all Israel go and destroy the source of their problems go and destroy for yourself and for them you're going to pray one prayer in the middle before I round up with someone you're going to say Lord wherever the source of the problem of my brothers are tied in the market anywhere I find them out Whatever the spirit that take men prematurely, put cancer in people, put HIV in people, make people frustrate, frustrated, delay marriages, cause people pain. Go backward, go forward, continuously. Ten years is past. Wherever that is in Zoro or Roto or Bagana, in the invisible realm, in the physical, you will tell the Holy Ghost to find out. And let the sword of God descend upon that evil. Can I hear your prayer? Thank you, Lord. Lift your hand with me one minute. Don't close your eyes. Keep looking. Except if I am not God's servant, you will not be able to forget this meeting. You will not. Something that is against you will not because I'm already making them naked. Something that fights your family in the time past will not forget that we gathered in the name of the Lord against wickedness. That the blood of Jesus that who was crucified more than 2,000 years ago shall start speaking. She has start speaking. Some of us, you will come into a high measure of the prophetic. You, you will start seeing. You will start knowing them. You will start knowing why. God, the pointer, the Holy Ghost, will start pointing. When you lie down in the house, in the dream, they will be pointing. When you are going out, going home after service, in, in the meditation of your heart, they will be pointing. If by tomorrow morning, wherever your enemies are hidden, they will come out on their own. I, I said they will, they will come out on their own. Your, your guardian angel will, will force them to come out. And then you will know that they are their, your enemies. And then they will not leave. Because the sword of God shall rest upon them. I didn't hear a big game. Sit down with me. There, there, are, there are four things, five, that God will use in fighting them. And I will mention them and stop. They, I, I, I mentioned Ephesians chapter 6, 17. Go ahead, Pastor Solomon. That's where I'm stopping. He, he, he said, take the helmet of salvation. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. God said to Ezekiel, prophesy, that is speak. Speak the word. Now, when you're speaking the word, you will speak the word you know. The word of the lion of Judah. Now, verse number, chapter 4, verse 12. I want to show you something about the Hebrews, chapter 4, 12. About the separating ability. The word of God has a separating ability between good and evil. He said, and the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing and sound of the soul and the spirit. And now, the now, the Bible said, the word of God has a piercing ability. And then, what, what does it do? The Bible said it has ability to divide soul and spirit. It can divide joints and marrow. 
That means if you're hearing me and you are sick anywhere, the word of God will go to where that sickness is and divide that sickness from your life. So that destroy when the sun want to descend. The sun will not descend on you. The sun will descend on the sickness after dividing it. It is a great miracle for the word of God to have ability to separate joint and marrow. So and spirit is a discerner huh? of the intent of the heart. In 1915 of Revelation, he said, and I will scatter the nations with the sword. There is something the enemy will not be able to overgrow. Sometimes when you pray, Satan can pray too. Satan can do what? He can pray too. He can pray too. That is, any believer that is not properly rooted in the word can't go far. Don't go to a church where they say pray without the word. Hmm. There must be word before prayer. Because the word has to introduce God and his power. Can I tell you something? The word of God has the power of God. Why prayer has the power of the prayer warrior? Somebody, somebody is blessed now. I, I said the word of God has the power of God. Why prayer has the power of the person praying? That is why in the word of God we are all united. But in prayer we are separated by different prayer energy. I say in the word we are all. But in prayer we are separated by different prayer. So God throws word more than prayer. Another factor is fire. 66 15 of the book of Isaiah. Factor is fire. Fire also represents the word. That's why some, some people say Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. It still works. 66 15 of Isaiah. 66 15. Can you go ahead and read? For behold, the Lord will come with fire. And with his chariot like a white wind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Verse 66 16. Go ahead. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be made. The Bible said the Lord will plead. We depend on fire and sword to plead with what? All flesh. So when you say, Lord, I release fire against the enemy, you're still talking about the word. In Jeremiah chapter 29, Jeremiah chapter 29, Jeremiah mentioned two things there. I want you to see you before I stop. Thank you for listening. Jeremiah chapter. Somebody may look at that. He said, Your word is it like, like a fire? Is it? Jeremiah, yes. Go ahead. Are you getting Jeremiah? Jeremiah, all right. Jeremiah twenty three nineteen. He said, Is not my word like a fire, said the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock into. Now, I've mentioned the word of God is like sword, the word of God is like fire, and now the word of God is like hammer. Now, God used this, he used this tool to fight his enemies sword, hammer, and and the fire these things these tools can be released now when the word of god is spoken to a situation the situation doesn't remain the same the word of god also doesn't return that is why all believers that live by the word of god we are blessed continuously by the word now i'm about to serve communion now immediately 
that's why we're not going to do prayer when the, after the communion is served and I, i'm about to do head wash i will come to the prayer point here and i will ask you to write them down the prayer point is part of the message they are prophetic it is not general prayer point it's prophetic and it's personal it's personal you are going to go home and you're going to see yourself pull out you're going to see your soul come out out of the dwelling place of the enemy because you see everything God created that has fought you must come before the Lord to give account to give so say with me Lord Jesus by the blood of Jesus I command everything around me that is surrounding me to stand up now and begin to give account of my life to the Lord Almighty can you speak it out I command everything around me I command everything around me I command everything surrounding me I command everything in my family to stand up now to stand up this moment and begin to give account of my life to God I'm not hearing your prayer I command everything everything in my family I command everything in my family I command everything in my village I command everything that is tied to the life of Chris Christian to stand up now and begin to give account Sotolia Raya Kapata Leria Soprana. Can you say it out? I surround myself with fire. Let everything give account of my life. Let the sun and the moon, let the altar in my village, let the altar in my town, let the altar of my life, let them give account. I command them to give account. Let every covenant that function around me begin to give account. Let every negative spirit, let every tree, let every body of water, let every man, let every dead man begin to give account by the blood of Jesus. Somebody I can hear prayer. Begin to give account. Begin to give account. Begin to give account. He give it. Begin to give account. Begin to give account. Everything that have delayed me. Begin to give account. In the name of Jesus. Finally, say with me, Oh God, as I eat the body of Jesus, drink His blood. Let whatever that is negative around me begin to give account. Begin to give account to God. And as they give account, let them be crushed. Can I hear your prayer? name of Jesus father I have done it part of it is my pleasure 
to give to him what people living Jesus in bread there is no sin in us because we are redeemed the king who died his blood is still speaking speaking for the pardon of everyone because we are hidden in that blood anyone that eats this bread is alive forever in the name of God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit The way forward is just these two ways. Decimating the enemy, improving your value. Father, anyone that drink Jesus in blood, men and women, shall go to a new level. Yeah. What, whatever that tied you up to yesterday, up to this morning, shall lose you. Yeah. Every sacrifice made against you, Calvary shall overtake that sacrifice. Shame shall end. Pain shall be of the past. Every dedication that want to shorten your days, every initiation, whether you are aware of it or not, that initiation shall be crushed. The, the blood that will cause us to rise ever has the life of Jesus. Anyone that drink this blood shall prosper unstoppably Amen. go from glory to glory Amen. the name of god the father Amen. son Amen. holy spirit
ti o fa ne me mo ma o le bu me ya ke de do wa ri ne be mo isi ke tu o o di atata mo ni e aka ba kana aka ti o fa ne me ma aka ne me ma o ti mo
Somebody are not praying. If I build a house for you, you will build for me. Lord, if we build a house for you, you will build for us. Jesus, marry them. Can you say amen? I hear yourself. Everybody testify. You are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Everybody testify. You are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Everybody testify. You are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Everybody testify. You are good, 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 you are you are good, 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 you Hey, 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 hey. 
hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for our shepherd. For a very wonderful message today. Oh, you see, God bless you, sir, for the deep message. Put your hands together for Jesus as you take your seats. It's awesome. Shepard, God will continue to bless you. You're a, gener- you're a blessing to our generation. Uh, and then when, when you tell the gospel truth, it's for us to do the hearing and not only the hearing, but equally to tap and do something about what we are hearing. Prayer is just a mere exercise. If you're asking God, then you must have a relationship with God before God answers you. So we'll stop deceiving ourselves, we'll just pray. Put the hands together for our shepherd. God will increase you for us in Jesus' name. If today is your first day of worshiping with us on a Sunday, can you raise your hand up? Today is your very first Sunday with us. Can you be standing on your feet? Today is your very first Sunday. Can you, you walk towards are the altar? welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see all over you. Glory of the Lord, you are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome, you are welcome in the name. Oh, you are welcome, you are welcome in the name. Oh, oh we seek glory, see all over glory. On behalf of Shepherd of Mankind, you are welcome to Locust Army International. Your life will not remain the same again in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Locust Army is a corporate company of Messiahs born to raise an altar for the capital Messiah in the heart of Africa. She's an end-time Messianic church born to declare rapture and the millennial kingdom of God. It's bent on making sure that the land of Judah is declared on earth as the last Adam. The covenant of eternal life, Zoe, protection, preservation, and the mortalization of mortals is our work in local time international. Jesus Christ has tested death for all local soldiers. So death must not be allowed to exert dominion over us. Jacket of life and immortality are continuously being distributed in the midst of the army. Today in this service, jacket of immortality was distributed to everyone as the message was going on. The Lord of Harvest calling on this army to allow for practical evangelism and soul winning. Every soldier of this army must understand that this exercise of soul winning is very paramount and must be taken seriously. It is time to fish for the master because the lion or tribe of Judah more than on earth a second time. Let's take our police confession. Say to your neighbor, 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 God of life and immortality is in you, is with you, and always environment. Our weekly activities, Monday School of Ministry, Time 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Our teacher is no other but Reverend Dr. Chris Christian. Put the hands together for Jesus. Tuesday's online teachings, healing and Bible and miracle service. Time is 12 noon to 4 p.m. During this period, special prayers were made for women seeking the fruit of the womb and those who are canceling appointment with our shepherd. Thursday's evangelism time is 12 noon. Quiet rehearsals time 5 p.m. Friday's hour of prosperity, 12 noon to 3 p.m. Put your hands together for Jesus. 
Saturday's ban on choir rehearsals. Time is 5 p.m. Full up 2 p.m. Sunday like this, Holy Ghost Assembly. So online church service. Time is 10 a.m. Pledges and vow redemption. All pledges and vow made in Galilee 2022 at the Galilee Campground. And all that pledges made towards the building project, even the new project going on in the church. Put down together for Jesus. <clears throat> it should be redeemed. We are there for using the opportunity to call on all those who made financial pledges and vow to please redeem as quickly as possible. Also, on this note, on behalf of Shepherd and Building Committee, we want to thank all those who came out yesterday to join in the building that is going on. Our men came out, the women came out, the youth came out. Can we put our hands together for Jesus and ourselves? And just to encourage us, we need more hands now to join in filling. The casting is being rounded up today, so the next stage is to do the German floor. We need to fill up the spaces. We have sufficient sand already. If you have nothing doing, you can join every day with the laborers who are there. And as you'll be paid, they're talking as well. But on Saturday, we equally call on all of us to join out again, as we did uh, yesterday. Unfortunately, many people did not turn up. You should not be missing your blessings. So if you did not come yesterday, both women and men, youths, you all encouraged to join us next Saturday by 7 a.m. And God will bless us as we do so in Jesus' name. So the account details is there on the screen, building account. Local Sami Ministry, Coop Bank, account number 4572006979. We encourage to make your payments and God will bless us as you do so in Jesus' name. The radio program tag in its presence by Shepard still runs in various channels nationwide. In Lagos, Inspiration FM, and 92.3 on Sundays, time 6.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. Also in Lagos, Kiss FM, channel 98.9, time 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Put down together for Jesus. In Onisha, Iwazobia FM, channel 93.7, Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. In Portacourt, is Wave FM, channel 91.7, Saturdays, 9.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. In our bar is Real FM, channel 99.1, Sunday, 7.30 a.m. In Kanu is Real Power FM, channel 106.5, Saturdays, 9 a.m. Also in Kanu, AIT television channel 29, showing Saturdays, 9 a.m. Bauchi, Dalbarka FM, channel 97.5, Saturdays, 5.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. Put the hands together for Jesus. We're almost everywhere. In Abuja is DSTV channel Wazubia Max and a 259 Saturdays 12 noon to 12.30 p.m. You can actually listen to most of the stations, if not all, by downloading the Radio Garden app on your phone. The media stand. All the municipal books by Shepard and Zoe Mr. Apartheid are all available in the media bookshop. You know, Shepard has written well over 260 bestsellers and is still writing. Put your hands together for Jesus. You can visit the bookshop on your way out. Because just like we have been told, the weapon, the power that we have is the word of God. So you go to the bookshop and then you get those books and then you empower yourself better. And God will give us the strength in Jesus' name. You also find CDs and DVD messages. Calendar, t shirts stickers, Zoe oil, Zoe mantle, and Zoe bangles. The following department are need of volunteers who like to serve as church workers. The evangelism and the follow-up team, the choir department, the central cleaners department, the auction department, the security department, transport department, the facility maintenance department, the decoration and beautification department, band and praise team. If you're interested in joining any of these departments in the church, you signify by middle resident pastor. The children department also need more teachers to join in building the faith of our children. If you desire to join the children department, equally middle resident pastor. 2022 prophetic declaration. May I invite all of us to be standing up at this time and then to decree after me 
2022 prophetic declaration. Year 2022 is a year of fire, swords, and judgment. It is a year that judgment written shall be executed upon my adversaries. In year 2022, God will unleash innumerable company of angels to lead me in all my ways. Those that dig with for me will surely fall into it. In 2022, freedom from poverty, crying, sorrow, pain, bondage, sicknesses, and death shall be whole and total. The wrath of lion god of life and immortality shall be extremely fierce on those that oppose me. 2022 is a perfect year for amazing miracles. Whatever I lay my hands to do shall blossom and prosper abundantly. In 2022, I shall be healthy and rich just as mountains surround Jerusalem. The fire of God's presence will always surround me. The sword of God will always be around me to keep away invaders from my life. 22 is a year of new things. It is a year of joy without limits. Because I put my trust solely on God. He will not fail me. In 2022, God will surely give my enemies a permanent place of defeat under my feet. Not only I shall not die, nothing good around me shall die. Underneath the arm of the Lord is my refuge forever. It shall be a refuge forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus as you take your seat. The church official website is up and running. The site contact address www.localsummit.org. We should always encourage our friends and relations all over the world to visit the website. We also encourage advertise our church programs on social media links like the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Sanctuary cleaners, Jerusalem women, reminds us that the list of those who are cleaning the church on Saturday is on the notice board. We encourage to check the list for the day that you are going to join in church cleaning. More announcements were made by the shepherd. Put your hands together for Jesus. Are you clapping? Come on. Keep clapping, keep clapping. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we put our hands together for evangelism team? Their effort. And that, um, that team is um, looking for more members and devotion. Not just only in soul winning, but in follow up. Amen. I've told all the groups they should be part of the follow up, the evangelism, the Jerusalem women, the men, the youths. Like when people come, we should find out the group they belong to and then take them to the groups and then join in the corporate follow up and the evangelism. Jesus wants his church to be announced. Uh, want a full house. If you labor for God, he will labor for you. I, I've, I've always discovered that the reason why some people cannot grow from one level of life to another level is just because of their selfishness. They always be talking about what God will do for them without talking about what they can do for God. Last night when I left building site there and uh, 
after a while, I started hearing testimonies voice, and uh, he prays there every night. I started telling God what he would do for him. I said, Lord, this man, this man that go here in every night, I leave him there every night. I will hear his voice there every night. And very few other people that come there. I said, Lord, do something for such a man. I have never seen a man that focused God that was discouraged. But selfish people who always go around themselves. And do you know something? They always be complaining. This one is not working. This one is not working. How can it work? He didn't make it to work. When I was there sharing yesterday, I told them, I said, I came here on Friday afternoon, preach seven headings. Preach seven headings. Went to that place between four and six. Started sharing until six. Then came back by 11. <laughs> to the same place and started sharing. Sometimes I look at the pastors, I said, are there not some things you look at? And it will make meaning to you without a preacher. It's not even somebody talking to you. You saw this thing. And you know that it should make meaning to you because you're a human being. Not even do it for a man or God. Do it for yourself. Do it for repute. When I shared, when I was I came to share on Friday, I didn't come with note. No, I didn't. And I preached seven times. I mean, seven messages. And then I went there to share the eighth one, come back in the night to share the ninth one while I was writing. And then somebody said, Oh God, Shepard is so intelligent. I said, No. I paid attention. I have made 280 books. We are not two on eight. It's, don't call it a gift. Huh? Just know it's just say effort. I just finished writing chapter 5 on Nigeria. The debate of New Nigeria. I wrote on visionlessness will lead to cluelessness. I just finished politicians. Somebody who is not sure of what he's seen can look at any side. Somebody who is not sure of what he's seen can be cut, can, anything can take his attention. I've announced about six messages for Tuesday. Announced for tomorrow. <laughs> And then somebody, small thing, somebody will contribute. It just gets selfish, you know. A selfish life is a valueless life. It's a doomed life. He's always talking about himself. He's always talking about what God will do for him. And excuse me. Now, he's, I, I, when I was writing on, you know, I'm making a book on Jesus the life. I said, all the lives that are selfish are doomed. You see, because they can't multiply. A corn of wheat have to die to multiply. You have to save. I was on the floor there for about six hours before God gave me this message. And then I was about to come out just to dress up. He said, include prayer point in it. And then I saw what he showed me that is going to be the prayer point now. Because I paid attention. When I was coming, I told someone, I said, tell Frank that they should get laborers from now to Tuesday evening. That pit, all of them are filled. I don't know how you would do it, but it had to be filled. Even if it means getting every laborer in Lagos. You see that hole there? It must be filled by Tuesday evening. I don't know how it will happen. 
but it had to be filled. <laughs> uh, because it's only sand. It's only it's only sand that we use in filling it, and sand is in Lagos, and uh, it and we need laborers and laborers are so what is keeping us? We will pay them. We do what? I said pay laborers. So get laborers and I will pay. So can you rise? <laughs> I'm going to mention the prayer points. The prayer points and you write them down. Keep your water close for head wash. All right, good books are here. Rapture and Crown. Satan on Mask. Man is a guardian angel of God's destiny. God of the Earth. Altar of the Living World. Losing the Seal, Volume 13. Are you clapping your hand? Can you take yes? Father, these tools are for miracles. Anyone that make contact with them shall be blessed. In Jesus' name. Prayer point number one. Subduing everything that represent the devil around you. That's number one. Whatever that represents the devil around you must be subdued continuously. Number two, empowering. Empowering everything that represents God around you. Empowering everything that represents God around you. Number three, releasing the sword of the spirit against ancient family cordons. Number four. Judging men and women that bear the destiny of Satan. Or them a mark of destruction. Judging every enemy. Men and women, they bear the mark. The mark of enemies. All right. All right. I'm going to bring five. Say with me, Lord Jesus. I am, I am standing before you as an ambassador in this deliverance service asking you to deliver me completely from the wish of darkness. Whatever that want to reduce my years on earth, we never stand. Can you pray that prayer? Just reduce years. Whatever that want to reduce my years. Whatever that want to reduce my years. Whatever that want to reduce my years. That want to shorten my days. Lord, reveal them and destroy them. In this head washing service. Can you Lord to spread the Arakatalama? Can you say, Lord, I take my life. I take my life. I rescue my life. I rescue my life from the port of destruction. I shall not be a meat to my enemies. I'm not hearing you say, Chris, Christian, shall not be a meat. Shall not be a meat. 
shall not be a meat I shall not be meat for my enemies my life will not be destroyed in the realm of the spirit in the physical every family ordination that shorten people's life wherever agreement of death was made against me I command that agreement to be broken can you go ahead and say Lord every altar every pot where agreement of death was made against my life I scatter the agreement can you go ahead wherever the agreement of death agreement of death by the blood of Jesus I lay the sword of the spirit upon that agreement by the blood wherever agreement was made made against my family I lay the sword of anger somebody lay a sword I lay a sword I lay a sword. I lay a sword. I lay a sword. <laughs> I lay a sword. Potoshakala Rayaba. I lay a sword. I lay a sword. I release fire. Somebody, can you go ahead? Wherever they are planning to kill you from. Wherever they are planning to kill somebody in the family altar of your mother, in the family altar of your father, in the village square, in the market, in the altar of Ihejoko, lose your soul. I lose my 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 soul. Let's go to Korea, Rababa. The messenger, Yatoro Krada, Rababa. Excuse me. In the name of Jesus. There is no family on earth that have not agreed to die. Wherever there is life, there is death there because the agreement of death has been raining. Even in the churches. All the churches, the, all the all churches you see, their altars contain grave. Maybe except where I'm standing. If a pastor said that death is for everybody, then he's preaching from the, from the grave. If a pastor believes in death, then everybody who attends that church is under the influence of death. You're going to say, Lord, wherever agreement was made against me to die, I pull my head out of that agreement. Excuse me, hear me. This intelligence might be higher than that pastor, but hear it. If you agree to die, it's no longer in your destiny to decide when you will die. Let me ask you to listen. I say, if you agree, huh? it will no longer be to decide. Yes. Now, if you agree to die, Satan will decide when the person will die. And you know people are dying against their will. People are doomed. Lord, I take my life out of the hand of the devil. Out of the hand of the angel of death. Can I hear your prayer? I take my life out. I take my life out. I take my life out. I pull my life. I pull my life out. The life of my people. I pull the life of my sisters out. Out of the dungeon of death. Oh, you angel of death, you have no power over me. You have no power over me. You have no power over me, God of life and immortality. Him who conquered death on the cross. I lose my life from death. Somebody go ahead. 
Shandolo tori araraba sata la karababa. Zitoli araraba shata. Zelia dadaraba. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and say every structure that connect me to death. I scatter those structure. Whether they are spiritual structure or physical structure. Can you go ahead and say I break those structures. I break those structures. I scatter those structures. Structures that support death. Those structures catch fire. Catch fire all your structures. Catch fire. To shakala da da Zoya <laughs> Every water body, every idol, every water body, every marketplace, every old, every old woman, every old man that support the devil to kill a man. I take away the life of that woman. I lay a sword of vengeance. Shut her, Baba. Somebody, I pull you out of pain. I pull you out of debt. I take you out of suffering. I take you out of poverty. Sasharaya kapatala ya baba. Somebody. Sitoria rakana baba la ya. Litoria resakada. The sword of anger. By the spirit of the ancient of days. The Bukhari spirit of the lion of Judah. Zontolire ye protokopatara Lare de 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 ya Yes Jesus Somebody I pull you I pull you out Somebody I pull you out by fire I pull you out I pull you out I pull you out Wherever you are I speak your freedom I speak your freedom, your freedom. I lose you. I lose you from the grip of death. I lose you from the grip of death. I suck your enemies. I suck the messenger of the grave. I release fire. Horosokotolia. Every power that shot the power, the life of people in the family of the Esamas. I command that power to be scattered immediately. To be scattered immediately. In my village or Rocco Center. In the Iguibites. Run about my life by the blood of Jesus. Every power that shot to the life of men. Oh God, come from heaven and set your thunder. Risotoria Rakatapata. Shantolia, I can hear that prayer. Your life can't be taken. Your life can't be taken. Your life cannot be taken by the adversaries. Your life cannot be taken. So Shantolia Radadamaya, God of life and immortality. Shantolia Radadama. Listen. In the name of Jesus. The other day I was telling someone, I said, I don't go to grave. I don't bury people. You don't steal somebody and pastor it. You will not be able, I will be here in the night to give them covering. I am not doing part-time job. I'm not doing, listen, I have done full-time ministry for 20 years. Full-time ministry without wife and children. I know what I have lost. It's not a joke. You're going to look at me and pray that prayer. Death will not have power over you. Not only that death will not have, sickness will not grow in your body. It's an abomination in this church. I say it is forbidden. I say it's where? It's forbidden on the altar. 
with sickness don't grow don't grow you can't get cancer here it's not, it's not allowed you will not your kidney will not fare it's not possible we don't we don't we don't suffer heart failure it's not possible somebody says not possible say oh you get of death I, I i i take you away can i hear your prayer can i hear your prayer somebody you are immortal you are immortal listen listen god doesn't kill anybody not even satan kills anybody that died anywhere and was killed by men it was arranged you cannot be a man and another man will kill your life will kill you if listen if there's any grave they dug anywhere for you waiting for time for people to for anybody to fall into it the person that dig it will die it doesn't matter when they say the person will fall no this is a covenant church shout me oh god i carry away the gate of darkness he said, oh, you get of death. I command you to be smashed immediately. Can I hear you smash it and evil gate? Jesus. Another prayer point. Say, Lord, every power that supports poverty, whether they are in the water or in the sea, inside three, in the ancient port, I command that power to be broken. Excuse me. Someone should tell that engineer that is there that I'm not ready for joke. That I go to that site every night and I wouldn't already joke. No, nobody wants with me. You know, I don't go away from church. And the people who like comfort don't work for me. I, I don't want that guy to take a break until that building is finished. That building will not stop. He said that seat there will dry. If I lack money to put on that building before for painting, the, the, the seat beside that building will become an abomination. We become what? We become abomination to God of life and immortality. God will not tell me what he did with my wife. He will say, Father, every power, every power, every power that devalues a man, whether that power is hiding inside the tree, Hiding inside water, hiding inside of inside family, that power should catch fire immediately. Every power that makes caricature of a man's value, make caricature of a man's value, make caricature that want to make caricature of the value of Christ Christian, that want to make caricature of the value of local army, that power shall turn to dust immediately. Toria raya kudu to break the diara torana. Totoria cry and love photo. Love photo sitolia riabra. Agreyo sitolia ragabada. Oh, toloria kakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
Somebody can you lift up your voice? The hour of poverty is over. Wherever the money is hanging by the power of the anointing. Toria Sakata. Lososo Toria Rada Baba. Every tree. Every tree that supports poverty. Every pot. Every pot that supports lack. Every wickedness that empowers the enemy. Every ancient magic. Every ancient covenant, every ancient law, every ancient wickedness. Somebody, you have to pray the prayer and hear yourself. The supporter, let the earth pursue them. Sosotorobodo, le redodo, le drododo, le sotopra, le dogi, dogia, lo dogiana, le dogadiara, le dogobotoriara, zito lo kredia. Refro Sokoto, let only a Ria Branoya. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, so so Tonya Rakapatana, Libra Sondo, Sondono, 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 whatever tree, whatever body of water, whatever you do, whatever Yamini, whatever Welekore, whatever Ibubo. Whatever demon that make mockery of a man of God, that make a mockery of an altar, La Sotoria, I lay a sword, I lay a sword, I lay a sword of anger, I lay a sword, somebody lay a sword, I lay season that is new season I declare a new season for Chris Christian I declare a new season for locals army this is new season this is new season in the name of Jesus this is new season by the blood of Jesus arise oh ancient lion arise you miracle walk of the angelus time arise Arise in power, arise in glory. Arise in glory, arise in power. Arise in glory, arise in glory. Somebody release anger against the wicked. Whatever that represents retrogression, whatever that represents going down, whatever that represents delay, the answer is fire. Urodia Karana. This is the end of shame. Cross Satalara. Church, 
when we are about to finish Kandu Church about 19 years ago, I was sleeping. And an, an, an angel came to me and said, when you get off from here, this, is, this, this building shall be painted white. I mean Kandu Church. And said, this spot and this spot shall have touch of blue. I said, who are you? He said, I am one of the spirits that helped Noah to build the ark. He said, we don't die. I was in the team of those that built the ark of Noah and I was sent to help you. He said, this is what was said about the paint of this church. And this is where would we be around this church. And then he left. When he said, I helped Noah. Now, when we are doing second pouring, second pouring from scaffold, I was, we are pouring till four. And I was among them pouring the last floor. There. When it was around 4.30, I just pour. And an angel took my head pan. I said, go rest. He said, we've watched you and I was asked to tell you that I, that I will support you. Now you're going to pray. I said, Lord, I call all the spirit that must help me to the next level. They will start helping me from this service. All the spirit that must help me to win the next battle. I command them to come. Wherever they are, I release them to come to me. Can you go ahead? I command them. Whether they are lion or eagles, wherever they are going to go home with you. All the angel, all the angelic builders, wherever they are, begin to summon them to come. They have to go home with you in this service. Sharotoria Rayaka Potosa. Lord, you, all you mighty angels. Oh, you spirit of, of the world that is in the book of Revelation. I, I call you to come from God's presence. You that have ability to help me, I command you to come into my company. Somebody, can you cry to spirits? New spirits, new spirits. Mecca of Bilonias. Mecca of Bilonias. Setona. Latos Soprada. Lisorona. Epredo. 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 Jehovah. Epredo, ancient of days. Epredo, lion of the tribe of Judah. Graya, Opredo, Sunaranda. Sunarandara. Somebody, Fotoliakrana. I cry to those spirits. You spirit that go around the earth. Come to this Christian now. Come with the energy of Jehovah. Energy. 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 Jesus. Energy. Jesus. Energy. Hey. Let them come with energy. Energy. Let them come with fire. Let them come with glory. Break every pan. Tear down obstacles. Judge limitations. Release the power of immortality. Conquer the wicked. Zolia Raka Pratanaya. Arise, O Keeper of Zion. 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 Oh, keep out of Zion. Somebody. Let's also do the Baba Santalaba. Lando do do da 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 ba 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 ba. Le de 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 Santalaba. Sare de 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 bo Santolo do do bo Sare da ba ba. Somebody, can you wake up? We're about to do head wash and stop. Can you wake up? Can you wake up? Yendo Sara. Yes. The leader of the army of heaven. Umbara Yashada. Umbara Yashada. Umbara Yashada. Umbara Yashada na. Leye de do shondo. Obigre Shada. Olo Olo Ranangi. Zodo di breto rodo. Okata na bibi. Zodo bren di agara. Yeah. In the 
name of Jesus. Do you have still energy for one minute? Say with me, Lord Jesus. Don't close your eyes. Say, I command money. Say, say money. I command you to get used to my voice. Say money. You better get used to my voice. Because from now, I will be commanding you. Say money. 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 Get used to my voice. Therefore, say money. And wherever you are, I command you to rush to me. Immediately. Can I hear you go ahead? That's your last prayer. Not, not head wash as usual. Never. Put your hand on your head. Say, Lord, every negative name call on my head. I free my head from the influence of such name immediately. Every name that is bringing trouble into my life, I, I free my head from the influence of that name immediately can i hear you begin to free your head free your head every name that is bringing trouble any man of god that laid hand on your head 
speak anything on your life and that thing is worrying your life that influence must be broken that influence must be spoiled if you don't know how to pray you have to pray now you have to pray now if you don't know how to pray you have to pray now because you can't die and you can't be poor your life can't reduce your job on an so family your job on an that is bringing debt that evil must be broken Gendre de dea, man de dea da 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 ba. In the name of Jesus, it is part of my service. Now pour oil, pour oil in your water. Excuse me, sir. Can you can you get your water? I, I'm doing this service here today. Now, this is the mantle. Put the mantle on your head and say, Oh, you head of Christ Christian. Evil cannot reign in you. Evil can reign. Evil cannot reign on my head. Can you go ahead and begin to wash out every evil? Evil cannot reign in my head. Evil can reign. Evil cannot reign. On my head, evil, evil. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Somebody that strange name. Remove a strange name. Remove a strange name. Remove a strange contact. Somebody remove strange contact from your head. Remove strange contact. Every strange contact in your hand, in your body. Every gate of death through which the enemy come. We break the strange contact. Ah. 
Jesus, put the mantle on your face. Whatever that make your face ugly, bring bad luck. Wash off. Wash off. Wash off. Wash off. Wash off. Wash. Yes. Wash off. One, two. Wash off. Hallelujah. Rususususaria, somebody wash off, Marusoprena, hey, every delay, Zuzalaya. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. Somebody put your two hands. Put your two hands. Put your two hands inside the water. Put your two hands. Come, sir. Leave the water and come. Put your two hands. Come. accomplished in the name of jesus your leg remove your shoe your leg two two by fire you can't die two by fire by yeah yeah by yeah 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 Everybody should look at this man. I'm giving him my water. Everybody should look at this man. I'm giving this man my water. It's God that made him to come here today. He just said, run away, friend. Begin to say, Lord, my dominion shall increase. My dominion, you put your leg. My dominion shall increase. They bear your leg now. Tinya your leg there. Start washing your leg. So shut down. <laughs> wash your leg. You wash your leg. Use your hand. Use your hand. Use your own hand. Use your own hand. Do do brada. Do do brada. Do do baradas. Soprada kapatos. Lando brana. Wash the soul. Eba eba uso. Wash the soul. Somebody wash your soul. The hour of pain is over. The hour of pain is over. So, brother, put your leg inside very well. No bra santo raba. Grey abanda. Grey akoboda sakata. Yeah! Somebody, this is the last part. Use another, use all your energy to say, you ancient family clay. You cannot hold me bound. Taradada balaya da 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 da. Whatever that cause struggling. Whatever that cause struggling, 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 whatever that cause put your leg. I am not yet through. Put your mantle. Put your mantle and do what I'm doing. So shakata, use your own mantle. Zoya brada labara. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There is no more debt. There is no more poverty. There is no more marriage delay. A woman is giving birth to triplets. It sounds by fire. Gate of nations are opened. Door contract is given. They cannot owe you. The door is open. The door is open. Somebody catch a new job. 
Somebody catch a husband, catch a husband. Somebody catch a husband, catch a husband. Somebody catch, 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 catch a husband, catch. Hey. Somebody catch a husband, catch. You are not catch your husband. Somebody catch your husband. That brother, catch your wife, catch your wife, catch your wife, catch your wife. Hey. Somebody catch your wife, catch your wife. Bondage is over. Catch your wife. Wedding, wedding in October. Catch your wife, catch your wife, catch, catch. Hey. It's accomplished. It's done. Carry your shoes. No. It's done. It's done. It's done. Da 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 ba shanta. Libro do sara karaba. Zeya atosa karaba. I shall fear no evil, because the Lord is with me. Rosa tola rakaya raba ba shanta. Libro do somebody you are a billionaire now. 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 You are yeah yeah yeah. The door is open. Wait. One house you didn't pay for is coming to your house. House. Car you didn't buy. Coming to you, that guy is coming to you. Money you didn't work for, I deliver it into your account. I deliver it by fire. 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 I deliver that car to you. That car, that house, that money is yours. Is yours. Is yours. Is yours. Thank you, Lord. Can you, can you rise this? The service is done. Sha, 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 Zambara, can you stand? Can you stand up and turn? Wave your hand and keep talking in tongues. Just talk tongues in two minutes before we share grace. Can I just keep talking in tongues? Zala tatora sha sha sha. Je ye de 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 sha da 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 ba 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 sha sha. Ya da 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 sha da 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 sha da da da. Je ye de 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 sha da 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 sha da 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 ba. Je ye de 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 da da da. Sha to la da 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 ba kara da da ba ba ba. Thank you, Jesus. What we are, what some of us have done is to sow seed of appreciation for what that happened. I want you to hear this announcement. The building going on in the site. What I'm what I am looking for there. That the engineer must start this week is to put block on that building, nothing else. I'm not even talking about feeling. I've, I've already told him Tuesday. If I come there tomorrow, I didn't see laborers. I'll go and get laborers. Don't tend to me. Yo. Many years ago, I told the engineer in Canada that I want work to be done. He refused to do what I said. I'll go and got, I, I go and got I went and got laborers. And the stomach sin cement. He came to me and said, that is not how to miss cement. That's not how to miss cement. I said, how to miss cement will kill you if you don't go. I look at the general and say, how to miss cement is about to kill you. He ran away. (laughs) 
Somebody, somebody gave you money to work and you're playing with the, with the work. Are you the one who is buying materials? What's your problem? So what we are saying is this. And the work there requires your contribution for partners. Father, as your people go, their head will not lack oil. Yeah. Wherever you go, if you're hearing my voice, the God of life and immortality will surprise you. Yeah. He will surprise you every day this week. Yeah. Can you say amen and hear yourself? Yeah. I said that God will surprise you in the night. Yeah. Surprise you in the day. Yeah. That is why goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. You shall dwell in your house and God's house now and forevermore. Listen, this potter potter water is not going to pour in this New Jerusalem. We are pouring it in the other land that we buy we buy land through this type of water. Any land where this water touch is our own. That is how we buy land. So you cross across, you go across the main road, you go this side, you pour into this other compound. Don't tell them why you are pouring. But that, that water is not pouring in. It's not pouring in New Jerusalem. Did you hear what I said? Can you stretch your hand? Say, Shepherd, I believe in your God. Did you open your eyes and look at me? Say, Shepherd, I believe in your God. Your, the, your angel is going home with me and I will see wonders so blessed be the name of the Lord the Lord almighty creator of heaven and who through the blood of his son have redeemed us from our sins from all nations town people and tribe of the earth and made us kings and priests to him be glory and honor praise and thanksgiving world without end to somebody your miracle just started did you say yeah, yeah, yeah? Thank you. Thank you.